Hey guys, it's Amy from MyHeartLOA.com and today's video is about inspired action. What is inspired action? What does inspired action mean? Inspired action is simply action that you take in order to manifest something from the spiritual world that you can't see into the physical world or your physical reality. Taking physical action can mean any kind of action. But inspired action is the action that you want to take. You feel like you want to do this, okay? Inspired action is when you're feeling nudges, which is your intuition, and you take action when you feel them. It is action that is inspired, it feels natural, and it's easy for you. Most of the time, you could tell it's inspired because you are excited about it. And it doesn't feel like action. It just feels like the next logical step that you feel like taking. All right, let me read you a little quote, okay? I love this quote. I don't even know who said it, but I love it. I can't see it, but it's working. It always works. It never fails. Every day I get closer. Every day it gets easier. It is working. And that is a quote about the law of attraction because the law of attraction is always working whether we believe it is or not, okay? Why is learning about inspired action important? Because if you don't take some kind of action toward what you're trying to manifest, it will just stay a thought or a dream. And I want you to be able to manifest your dreams. I'll give you some examples of how I've taken inspired action and manifested different things in my life, okay? first one is when I first decided that I wanted to be a blogger I felt like I had to wait for the perfect time and I had to wait until I was ready to blog well I finally figured out that there was no perfect time and that if I wanted to be a blogger that the best thing to do was just do it just start just start blogging I first created a blog on a free platform I was still scared of what my family and friends would think of me putting myself out there online like that, especially on video, and I still kind of feel weird about it, but I do it anyway. I do it for my subscribers and my readers, okay? I knew I was being a big chicken and letting fear rule my life. Three plus years of blogging on that free platform, and I knew that I was going to stick with it. So that's when I took a big leap of faith and created I Heart LOA. A blog about my passion, the law of attraction, and teaching other people what has worked for me. I took inspired action when I created this blog, and I'm so glad I did because I love this site and I love the readers that keep up with it. My most recent manifestations at the time of this blog post, which has been months ago, but at the time of you reading this blog post, at the time I wrote it was only like two weeks ago, so... I've been wanting to quit my full-time job for so long, but I was scared, like really scared to. I've been working at this job for almost four years. I was so used to it. It was a very low-paying job, though. And then, and that was when I was first getting into the law of attraction. I was scared that if I quit that job that I wouldn't find another one, that my bills would pile up, etc. You know what I mean? I was so stuck in a certain way of life, low, a low-income way of life, that I couldn't see past my own assumptions about what would happen and my own beliefs because I had negative, you know, a lot of negative mindset and a lot of low, really low beliefs about myself and what I could do as a person, okay? After studying and learning about the law of attraction, I knew I had to change my way of thinking, my mindset. I've been having nudges and nudges. <laughs> First, it started off as just this feeling that I needed to leave this job. Just a little nudge inside of me. Well, of course, I talked myself out of it. I told myself it's just because I was burnt out. Well, the nudges didn't stop. They kept getting stronger and stronger. What I didn't know at the time was this was my intuition trying to guide me and telling me to leave. Let me tell you something. You have best listened to your intuition as soon as you realize that that is what it is. When your gut is telling you to do something, you need to listen to it, okay? Because you could end up like me and get hit upside the head with it. And I mean, literally. I didn't listen to my intuition because I let the fear of change get to me. Finally, my intuition had had enough and I got literally poked out of that job. And I'm going to tell you what I mean by this. The nudge that did it. <laughs> Finally, the nudges wouldn't stop. 
One night while I, while I was working, a nurse had accidentally left a used lancet. It's a little needle for testing diabetes patients in a patient's bed. And I went to pull the patient over in the bed so she'd be in the middle and not fall out. Well, guess what happened? I got stuck by that used lancet. I had my gloves on, but of course, it being a needle, went right through my gloves and popped me a good one. Well... Instead of that nurse that was over us because we weren't graveyard, there was no ad administrative staff there. It was just the charge nurses. Well, instead of that nurse sending me on to the ER like they were supposed to do to do blood work, they made me finish out my 12-hour shift and then go as soon as I got off work to the lab. Okay, by that time I was livid and worn out from working a 12-hour shift, okay? I didn't feel like going to the lab, but I went because I didn't want to lose my job. So, enter having to spend hours at the lab getting blood work done to make sure I didn't catch a disease. Alright, so the moral of that story is the nudges I was having started off as just a little slight nudge. Kept getting stronger, I still didn't listen to it. Finally... The nudge that did it was me getting popped by a used lancet, and that really done it for me. That's when I was I got so ticked off over at that job, I was like, okay, it is time to leave this job. I should have listened a long time ago to my intuition, but that is why if you don't listen to your intuition, it's trying to lead you on the right path, and it's going to hit you upside the head to make you listen, okay? So go ahead and listen to it when you first start feeling the nudges. Okay, all right, a week later, I went ahead and quit that job. I didn't give them a notice. I just didn't show up ever again because I was pissed, you know. I was tired of their bullshit. I was tired of it. It was a low-income and paying job anyway, and I knew I could do better. I finally got it in my head I could do better. So a week later, I found the perfect job for me. Just in a week, just a week, I could have quit that job a long time ago and found a perfect job, but no, I didn't. New job, new mindset, higher standards. The main point I hope you take away from this post is when you feel those nudges, they are there for a reason. It's your GPS called your intuition that is trying to guide you to opportunity. And by taking inspired action, when you feel those nudges, it will lead you on the path that you need to be on. And it always has your highest good in mind. By taking the physical inspired action, you are bringing that manifestation out of the spirit world into the physical world, into your physical reality, okay? Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed this post video. It just depends on where you're watching it from. And I hope my story was a good example of how my intuition was trying to guide me to take inspired action. If you like this video or post, please consider sharing it out. Make sure you come back to iHeartLOA.com and check out other articles and videos. I would love, love, love to hear from you today. Let me know you were here by saying hi in the comments. Do you have a story you could share with us about inspired action or how your intuition was trying to get you to listen to it? Anything like that, I would love to hear. Just leave it in the comments below on the post, on the Facebook page, YouTube, wherever you're watching this from. Leave it below and let us know because we want to hear your story, okay? Alrighty, I guess that's all I've got for you today, guys. I will see you later. Make sure you come back to iHeartLOA.com. Check out other videos and articles or check us out on our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash iHeartLOA. Alrighty, till next time. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.